Um, Brother Muhammad, there is one thing that I wanted to really touch on this Ramadan about a particular change that actually happens and it's noticed, I can pretty much say, all around the world by the Muslims. That change is seeing the Muslims or seeing the Masajids at the beginning of Ramadan, the spirit of Ramadan is really, really high. But the unfortunate thing is, throughout the days that passes by, the numbers decrease. What we would like to know is, why is that and how can we keep that momentum going, not to finish Ramadan, but also to continue after Ramadan as well? Okay, well, you tend to find, <coughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, you tend to find that in the beginning, every Muslim, in fact, every single human being has good in them, has khair in them. Even the worst of people, if you scratch the surface deep down in their hearts, you find that there is a good person in them. So for most believers who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we love our Prophet, we love the deen, we love Islam, even though you may deem yourself to be a very far and a distant Muslim, but there is that love. And there's no doubt whatsoever that there is there's this beautiful mystery, that there's this absolute buzz about the month of Ramadan. And of course it's a blessed month. It's a month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose amongst all the months. So there is this beautiful vibe. Iman is naturally on a big high. So you find that, you know, and even for myself, I remember back in the days when we were, you know, when I was not praying, I was not fasting, you know, I was not doing the, you know, what I was supposed to do. You know, you would find that uh, when the month of Ramadan would come, you know, for those who had a girlfriend, he used to call his girlfriend and tell her, look, you know, in the month of Ramadan, we can't talk, you know. And, uh, you know, and for the people that used to do that, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram, you know, he would have an intention that, look, in the month of Ramadan, I can't do this. So this is a sign that there is goodness in this person, right? There is this khair in this person. So when the month of Ramadan comes, of course, uh, because everyone around you is also doing the same thing. So you find that, you know, you're not left on your own. Your mother's involved, your father's involved, your friends are involved. You feel the whole ummah is alive. The month of Ramadan, the khair, you know, you know, like, uh, you know, all of these great things are happening. So you find yourself going to the masjid becomes automatic. In fact, you feel, you feel out of place, if, you know, if you're not getting involved. So in the initial stages, you find the whole ummah is going there. And because every single one of us, without a doubt in my mind, every one of us wants change. We all want to improve. We all want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the unfortunate thing is, is what tends to happen. You see, the difference between us and the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that they used to prepare for the month of Ramadan because they knew the value. The Prophet of Allah used to say, what sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? If people knew what laid in Ramadan, if people knew what was in Ramadan, they would wish the whole year was the month of Ramadan. Right? So the Sahaba, they knew the reality. So they used to prepare for the month of Ramadan Six months in advance, they already had a schedule. They already knew what they wanted. They had a goal, right? They were on a mission in that month. But what tends to happen with us is we don't have a plan. We don't have a goal. We're left with this, I just want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a great thing. But what does that mean? How do you define that? How do you break that down? So you find yourself, you go to the masjid the first day, the second day, the third day, but you don't have a path. You don't have a track, you don't have a schedule, you don't have a program. So then you find that, you know, after a few days, the buzz, the hype comes down, it becomes normal again, and then you go back to your old ways. And then you find, you know, towards the end of Ramadan, right? You know, uh, maybe, you know, like on the 27th night, everyone thinks this is it, this is going to be Laylatul Qadr. So we all flock to the masjid again. Why? Because you don't have a plan. We're all trying to tick the big days or the big nights. So definitely, um, we need to have a plan, we need to have a schedule, you need to put yourself a schedule, okay, we know we want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we obviously know going to the masjid is a great thing, okay, but how much am I going to go to the masjid? How do I plan on getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What are, you know, how do I plan on changing? What are the things I want to change? We need to define these things, we need to first know what are our faults, what are our wrongs, so that then inshallah in the month of Ramadan, we can attack them in the right way.